Okay, race three in our last race here from Nubia. It's a two mile five cello novices hurdle. It's a grade one. So number one is Gladriel's Nurse. Two is Hatton's Grace. Three, Martin's Music. Four, Meandre, the favorite. Five, Thesis. Six, Aquastar. Seven, Baying Princess. And eight is Deer Hunter. So just eight of them in this novice hurdle here. It's a grade one. Star has got them well away. We go straight into this turn here. It's Hatton's Grace that's happy to lead them by a couple of lengths to the remainder, which is just being uh, led by Deer Hunter, Aquastar the Great, and Thesis on the inside. And we've got Meandre the favourite. On the outside of that is the Silks of Gladriel's Nurse. They're into the first hurdle and everybody gets over it. Okay. Although Meandre's just been pushed a little bit along, uh, pushed along a little bit. 11 flights uh, approaching the second and as Grace leads them into it gets over it poor jump there by Thesis didn't get over it at all well he made himself into rear at the moment but it still happens Grace into the third jumps it fast keeps his advantage of about five to six lengths from Gladriel's nurse and Aquastar been followed through by Martin's Music and Deer Hunter. On the outside is Meandre being pushed along a bit. Into the fourth, everybody's over that against the fence's Thesis. And just at the rear is Baying Princess. A couple of these horses not really settling. But it still happens. Grace going to lead us past the winning post for the first time. Just under two miles to travel. Still another seven flights, but it's happens. Grace. From the middle of the course, Gladriel's nurse, although going over towards the fence now. And just being followed through by Aquastar and Meandre. And the length back to Thesis, Bane Princess, Deer Hunter, and Martin's Music. So downhill here. Hatton's Grace going to lead him out towards this back straight now. Hatton's Grace leads by a good couple of lengths to Gladriel's nurse and Aquastar. And then we've got Meandre. Thesis, Bane, Princess, Deer Hunter, and Martin's music. So, Hatton's Grace uh, had a little bit of a rest here. His advantage is down to about three lengths now. As Gladriel's nurse and Aquastar. Meandre, the favourite. The inside is Thesis. They'll take the fifth. Couple of little slow jumps there. Thesis was over a little bit slow. Jockey having to uh, remind, give the horse a few reminders, as is Deer Hunter at the rear. Some of these not particularly running well in the conditions. But it's still Hatton's Grace that leads us. Jockey's still taking a little bit of pull. Might have run off a little bit freely. But still got a three-length advantage from Gladriel's Nurse and Aquastar. They're bunching up a little bit behind now. Over the six. Everybody gets over it. One that didn't take it well was Aquastar. Losing his position of third. But it's still Hatton's Grace. Leads by a couple to Galadriel's Nurse. Still four flights to take. Just under a mile to travel, Gladriel's nurse took a dive at that one. And he's demoting himself right back into the end of the pack. But there's probably only seven lengths from first to last, but it's Hatton's Grace that leads us by a couple of lengths now to Thesis. We're going to take this left turn. The ones are going to get caught a little bit wide here at Deer Hunter, probably six wide, along with Baying Princess. So it's still Hatton's Grace, got the fence. Happy with that, leads by two from Thesis. We've got the rest, the two out wide, Bang Princess and Deer Hunter. And we've got six and a half furlongs left to run. It's Hatton's Grace starting to be challenged now by Thesis as they approach the eighth. And Hatton's Grace and Thesis are going to take this one together. Another turn here. And it's Thesis that leads then. He's taken a length advantage over Hatton's Grace. Jockey pushing Hatton's Grace along a little bit. Couple that have having to be moved now, and Moy Andre and Martin's music, as well as Aquastar, are under a little bit of pressure. But up front, it's Thesis, Hatton's Grace, and Deer Hunter. We get to the eighth. Everybody jumps it well, but it's Thesis now under a little bit of pressure. We're going to four furlongs left to run. It's Thesis but on the inside. Here comes Hatton's Grace, the one that's got nowhere to go. Is Gladriel's nurse got himself blocked in? But it's Thesis that pulls away now, just by a length. The grey Aquastar running on well, but Thesis takes the ninth in in front from Gladriel's nurse and Hatton's garden. These two are chasing hard but Thesis has got a couple of lengths on him here two for just over two furlongs to go gets over the 10th we've only got one left to jump and it's Thesis jockey looks around I think he thinks he's got this 
His thesis leads by two to Gladriel's nurse. Hatton's garden running on well now is Deer Hunter. Here comes Gladriel's nurse to challenge on the ultimate. But they get over it well. The fastest jump was Deer Hunter. Deer Hunter moves into a second gear and just takes it up now by a length. We're inside the final furlong. It's Deer Hunter. Deer Hunter pulling away from the rest on the outside. Here comes Meandre, the favourite. But it's Deer Hunter hanging on now. Here comes Meandre is the time. It's Deer Hunter from Meandre. Meandre. Deer Hunter takes it. Deer Hunter hangs on well. Meandre left it a little bit too late there. So Deer Hunter takes the challenge. Novice is hurdle. Great one for Joshua Sutherland. Well done, Meandre for Paul Rhodes' is second. Third was Hatton's Grace for Ghost Sapper. Fourth was Gladwell's Nurse for David Robinson. And fifth was Aquastar for Thunderspark.